What are these men doing? Why are they engaging in such extreme violence and wearing such tiny pants? This, and this, and this is Australian football. A sport that looks like a mutant hybrid of soccer, rugby, basketball, and a street riot. One, two, three! Played with a ball the size of a blue ribbon watermelon on a field bigger than some farms. Down under, it's the national sport, and the annual grand final match is the equivalent of the Super Bowl. So why are we searching for this Aussie insanity in Yonkers? Uh, right now we're in uh, Yonkers, just outside New York City. We're watching the Boston Demons take on the New York Magpies. Uh, we're playing a game against Boston. Uh, it's uh, friendly, but Boston and New York don't really get along well together, so. Uh, I would say friendly in, in quotes. We hate these f***ing <laughs> so. We've got a long rivalry with New York. We sure like to beat them, and I think they feel the same way. It's like a three-dimensional game. You get players coming at you from either side instead of just like football, where they're sort of two teams lying up against each other. The game is simple enough. Two teams attacking giant goalposts at either end of the field. If you catch the ball on the fly, that's called a mark, and you get a free kick. You can run with the ball, but you have to dribble it after a certain number of steps. To pass the ball, you must punch it with your hand. Players can move anywhere on the field in the free-flowing, improvisational chaos of the game. As far as defense is concerned, well, misdemeanor assault comes to mind. We don't wear padding, if you didn't notice. I dove to get the ball, took a shoulder to the face, um, and ended up breaking my nose. Probably shouldn't be playing, but hey. Just like Foster's Lager, Rupert Murdoch, and Bloomin' Onions, this rugged Australian import is primed to take America by storm. Across the U.S., Aussie expats and enthusiastic American converts are forming competitive teams in regional divisions. We're actually a club, we travel, um, we do social functions. There's a few reasons why Americans play the sport. It's a challenge to learn a new sport, and also these guys. You can't help but want to hang out with them. Picking up any quote-unquote foreign pastime lets non-conformist American athletes break with the status quo. But soccer's gone mainstream, cricket is slow, and that Afghan goat grabbing would probably be illegal here. So with its combination of speed, violence, skill, and a sociable attitude, maybe Aussie football is the perfect imported sport. The goal of all of us playing here Australian football in America is to have one guy play professionally in Australia. You know, if he starts at like seven years old, by the time he's about 20, you know, Hopefully be good enough to play down there. That's the future. On this day, all that mattered was that after a close match, Boston emerged victorious, and a bone-crunching good time was had by all.